Today, I'm gonna try and break a park run course record and really test myself to see how fast I can go over 5K. Oh, and did I mention it's Christmas? Let's go. Oh, the weather outside is weather. Ah. I think that's from Elf, isn't it? See, it actually is Christmas Day. It's Christmas! Should we sing some Christmas songs? Let's do it. To keep us Christmassy on the drive. It's beginning to look a lot like Park Chris. Run. Park Run. <laughs> Everywhere. We, we run. run. <laughs> <laughs> it's a park run, do do do, on Christmas day, do do do, people running, do, 4, 5k, do do do, do. everybody wants to run a park run, on Christmas day, do 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 do, do do do, do do do, on a scale of one to Christmas. Christmas. You didn't hear the question. Okay, what's the question? Okay, on a scale of one to Christmas, how Christmassy do you feel today? Six, bar humbug. We are here at Chippenham Park Run, which might seem a little bit random, but it's the nearest Christmas Day park run. And I've never done a Christmas park run before. This is my Christmas Day park run for virginity being lost today. It's pretty exciting. What happened? I can't believe this. Daniel forgot my bag. I have my own bag. It's your bag to remember. I thought you picked it up. No. Walking back up this ginormous hill. Merry Christmas. Also ginormous isn't a word, is it? Oh, damn it. Let's start again. The bag has been secured. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by forgetting my belongings, I've never done a park run on Christmas Day before, which is really exciting. I always run on Christmas Day. It's a bit of a tradition. Normally it'll be an easy run or a long run. Go with the dog, wear a Christmas hat, say Merry Christmas to everyone. Everyone's in a good mood on Christmas Day. Well, 99% of people are in a good mood on Christmas Day. But today, it's not an easy run. I am time trialing this park run, which means essentially I'm racing myself. Obviously park run's not a race. Don't come at me, I know that, but I'm using it as a race today because I really want to test my fitness and this feels like deja vu a little bit because I'm not really where I want to be in terms of fitness, but that's okay. And last time I tested my fitness, that's exactly what I said when I filmed the 10K video in Leeds. Pretty much straight after that race, I got ill, was fighting off multiple different bugs for a good few weeks. And I've probably had about four consistent weeks of actually doing sessions and workouts since then. Got a month of training behind me. I'm not going to set the world on fire today, but I'm going to put a marker down and see how fast I can run. And in the context of everything, that's going to set the bar for next year. Yeah, it might, feel, it might seem a bit weird that I'm doing a park run to test my fitness. A, what else are you going to do on Christmas Day? There's no races. And B, I think it's a really nice thing to do because anyone can do a park run. Whether you're walking, whether you're running, whether you're sprinting, whether you're crawling. Whilst it's a long way away from the Olympics, which was the subject of my last video, it still has a purpose in the grand scheme of things. And whatever I run today will not be my fastest ever 5K, and I will run quicker. But it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun, and I'm ready to get in the Hurt Locker. And another reason why I'm very excited to do this race today and to record this video for you guys is because this video is sponsored by World Athletics for a really good cause, which I can tell you more about later on. All right, I'm going, bye. Right. I need to take this jacket off. Very mixed terrain. Is it? I, uh, yes, I can see what they mean now. So first lap, well, the first loop, which you do twice, smaller lap, quite nice. On tarmac, there's a sizable hill. You've got to go all the way up there and then down here. But I'd take that to the second loop because it's like farmland. <laughs> it smells like farm and it's very muddy, so. I don't think we'll be running particularly fast times today, but I'd still like to try and take down the women's course record if I can. Or, failing that, or as well as that, be the fastest person in a Santa hat. Change my shoes, do some drills, get ready to go! Hold up, did you know that right now, around the world, 99% of people breathe polluted air that exceeds 
World Health Organization guideline limits. That is absolutely insane. Everyone should have the ability to be outside, to exercise, play sport, and to breathe clean air while they're doing it. Imagine you turned on your tap, and instead of the water being clear, it's some murky brown color. You're not gonna drink that, are you? Yet we have no choice but to breathe in the air that surrounds us, whether it's clean or not. That's why we have to demand clean air, and that's why I'm partnering with World Athletics on their mission to ensure the future of sport and secure access to clean air for people everywhere. I myself have asthma and a few years ago I had a real scare when I was taken to hospital when a chest infection turned really nasty. Without clean air, people with asthma are 40% more likely to have acute episodes like this. And not only are these absolutely terrifying, but they're also really dangerous. Not to mention, without clean air, I couldn't be outside today testing my fitness and enjoying this glorious park run with all of these other runners. We're calling on local authorities and national governments to take action on reducing air pollution to demand clean air for all and you can join me. I'm not even kidding when I say this is going to take you literally 20 seconds to make a real difference and that's it. It doesn't cost you anything at all. Sign the declaration now by clicking the link at the top of my description. We have to protect our air now for our future, the future of sport and for future generations across the world. Huge thanks to World Athletics for sponsoring this video with a cause I truly care about. Santa's been sitting down for too long. His glutes hurt. Two things about this hat worry me. That it falls off and that it makes me incredibly hot, which has already happened, so it might slow me down a few seconds. Just saying, just saying. Right, see you later. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. How was that, Santa? <sighs> Definitely never ran so fast on Christmas Day before. <laughs> oh, that's oh, tough. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <sighs> <laughs> What's the watch, Sam? Well done. 17.14. Oh, Good. wow. Course record, I think. Isn't it? Yeah. Coming summer. Yeah, I should do. It's nice on a dry summer. <laughs> ah! As if, as if I dared to say, if I can't break the course record, I'll just try and be the fastest person in Santa hat. Obviously, the only guy that beats me is wearing full Santa outfit. Tough, tough course. If anyone fancies a really hard park run, come to Chippenham. I'd say it's a toss up between lapping people and having to go really, really wide, and that second loop just being an absolute mud fest. I can't decide which was the hardest bit, but it was hard, it was tough. Glad I did it though. Got course record by maths 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 a minute and 21 we'll, we'll put it on the screen <laughs> <laughs> i can't do maths right now oh, can, can we go what? to the christmas tree yes <laughs> uh, sorry but no. <laughs> oh, no, it's your one that. oh that one yeah brilliant thank you very Happy much you too. this is soggy christmas a very soggy christmas yeah I think that park run should have an asterisk next to it saying, wettest day ever. Chippen and Park Run, you're amazing. Park runners are the nicest people in the world. Even got cheers on my cool down. Happy Christmas. Love the Christmas grind. It's Christmas. Okay, I did. <laughs>